In order to get a background image on this screen here, we're going to have to wrap our scroll view, so all of our code basically, inside of image tags. So we'll put an opening one there, and we'll put a closing one right here at the bottom. And we can kind of tab this out just so, you know, we got a nice little hierarchy going. Now inside this image, we're going to take two things. The first is going to be a style, and we want to say styles dot background image, which we'll start adding in right now. So down here, we can say, well, we'll actually put this at the top, uh, background image colon, and give it a nice comma right there. And there's a few things we're going to want to add to this. The first is we want to give it a flex one, because we want to take it uh, take up the whole screen. Um, we want to give it a resize mode and give this something called cover. So basically, if the picture isn't quite the size that we're looking for, um, this resize mode is going to make sure like it fits the area, the boundaries that we want it to. And then we got to give it a height and width. Um, for the height, we're going to set it to height. And for the width, we're going to set it to width. Now you're like, hmm, I don't know. I don't think we can do that. There's no height and width just sitting out there. Well, there is if we want it to be. So we're going to declare some variables above this class here called height and width. Um, and we're going to get the dimensions of our React Native app here uh, and, and put those on the height and width variables. Now, in order to do that, we have to import something called dimensions from React Native. And up here at the top, we can just say var height is equal to Oops, equal to dimensions.get. And we want to get the window. And then we want to get that height off the window. And we can do the same thing with the width here. Width is equal to dimensions.get window. And we want to get the width off the window here. So now these variables down here for height and width, these will work. So if I save this, uh, nothing's going to, this actually isn't even gonna work really. Um, so be before we actually try this out, I almost forgot, we need to add in our source, of course. Uh, this is the most important thing on the image tag, because without a source, what's the point of having an image tag? Uh, I'm going to space this out a little bit, and inside of this source, I'm going to say URI, and we're just gonna go ahead and set this equal to um, an image that I want, uh, which I think I have still sitting here, so yes. I want this image, which is uh, the uh, Pokemon Go loading image, uh, as our background. I think it's pretty fitting for what we're trying to accomplish here. And if I save this, hopefully the, the loading will work here. Uh, let's go ahead and look up, um, I think I can spell, well, I don't know Raichu. I don't know how to spell Raichu. I might be able to, but I'm not going to embarrass myself. I'm just going to put in 26, which is not his number. And there's Raichu on screen. And then we got our background image that popped up about a second later. Um, the reason why it came up a second later is because it is going over the internet. I have kind of slow internet. Sometimes it takes a second for the image to pop up. There's different ways to kind of get around that loading, but uh, we're not going to worry about that right now. This is perfectly fine. So now we have a pretty nice functional app. Um, it says, you know, 26 Raichu. It's got his height and weight here. It's got his abilities um, all listed out. And then that sick background right there with this scroll view, we can kind of move him up and down. If you're using this on your phone, I'm sure this looks even cooler than it looks on screen here. And then not only that, but we can also search for some other Pokemon pretty quickly. If I went and searched for 251, which might be Lugia, and I hit the search bar, notice we get the Pikachu popping up and uh, Pikachu is like walking around uh, as like a loading icon. Uh, it's actually 251 is actually Celebi. I think maybe 249 is Lugia. 249. Um, Let's watch that again. Pikachu's walking, and then bam, we got Lugia popping up there. Uh, great Pokemon right here. Great Pokemon. Um, so yeah, everything seems to be working perfectly. Uh, that pretty much wraps it up for this app. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. Again, just wanted to mention the reason why you know we might get like a little bit of an image load glitch right there is just because we're trying to run this stuff off of uh, the internet. Um, if you wanted that background image to be static and load up, instantaneously all you'd have to do is download it pop it into your assets icons and then you know require it in on this page but um, for the purpose of this app there's just no reason to go through all that this is perfectly fine uh, again really hope you guys enjoyed this app uh, and see you in the next one